Welcome to Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. It's the fall season. We're getting our appetites back. We want something easy to make on a Friday night. Let's make some homemade guacamole and some throw them in some chicken quesadillas. Let's do it. And the recipe will be in the description below. All right, so I've got two small avocados and I've got my nice little little tool that's good for getting avocados out of there. Otherwise, you could use a spoon, throw them in your bowl. I love cooking in the fall. I come alive in the fall. So here's my nice ripe avocados. Watch for them to go on sale at your store. It's just kind of nice when you see them, you go, oh, we're gonna make guacamole. We have avocados often and my friends are gonna laugh about this, but we do. All right, so I just put my two avocados in my bowl. I am going to mash them up with a fork. It's so easy to do. You can make it as smooth or as chunky as you want. All right, so now that's done. I'm going to squeeze a little fresh lime juice in it. You can use a lemon. Squeeze it in. Do a lot. It adds so much to it. You may think it's too much, but it isn't. I need to get one of those little squeezers so to squeeze it out. Watch, I'm gonna get one. You'll see it soon. All right, and then my favorite, Tony Chichiri's seasoning, Cajun Creole. I love it in my guacamole. Just give it a nice sprinkle around the bowl. It's gonna give it a nice salty flavor and all of those good spices. Oh, it makes the best guacamole, I just love it. And then a little bit of pepper, a dash of salt. You can do a little sprinkle of garlic. We vampires don't like too much, but a little bit's okay. There's already a little bit, I believe, in this, but I'll just do just the slightest of bit. <laughs> I don't like too much, but a little is good. You just don't want it overpowering. You can even add a little onion salt if you like. Try a couple different things when you make it, and you're gonna, you know, then you'll know what flavors you wanna make it your own. Now I'm just going to take a little taste of it, see what I think. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's so good. Then what I always do is I put it in one of my little salsa dishes and it just makes it look nice and neat when you're serving it. All right, so this is all done. Now I'm going to take some chopped chicken. I had already made in a pan and I made some chicken breast. Make a little extra sometimes and you can make other things with it. Like this one, I made a chicken stir fry the other night. Now I had a breast and a half left. This is gonna be a nice dinner for us in our quesadillas. Already done. Or get the rotisserie chicken from your grocery store. You can do that too. Whatever you have, or make some fresh. But this is nice and quick, I had it done. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up my pan on like a little above medium. I'm gonna pour a little bit of olive oil on. You can use butter, just a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to make our quesadillas. Uh, take your tortillas. I've got some whole grain tortillas. You can use any kind you like. Corn, flour, anything. I'm gonna put them in the pan. I folded them over, making two. I'm gonna open them up like this. And now I'm gonna put some of my chicken in there. Have your chicken at room temp if possible or heat it up a little before you put it in so it's hot. And then I'm gonna put some more on the other one. These are going to be so good. Make you one a little bit bigger for Mochi because he likes, he wants even more. <laughs> and then I just have a little salsa. Use whatever kind you find. Put a little salsa on there. It's gonna give it more flavor. Close it while I do the other one. Get your salsa in there. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little cheese on Mochi's because He's gonna want some cheese. I'm gonna go cheeseless today. Close this up. I can hear them sizzling. So now I'm gonna turn them over. They cook pretty quickly, so watch them. Look at that golden brown. How good does that look? Oh, ooh. Just turn them over carefully. Look at that. All right, so our delicious quesadillas are cooking. This is how quick it is. It is so fast. I'm telling you, you can make these in like 10 to 15 minutes. So when you're wondering, oh, we're hungry, what are we gonna have? You don't have to run out to the store, you can just make it at home. That's what a lot of these recipes, I just wanna show, you can do it, it's very easy, it's much better for you to make it at home, and it is so good. I turned my heat down a little lower than medium because 
all of a sudden they'll go pretty quick and you don't want to burn it. You just want it perfectly golden and that's the way it is right now. And I think it's about ready. Take it over here. I love cooking because you just can make something fun and easy and it's kind of just relax. It's fun to me. Okay, so there's our quesadillas. It's Friday night. We're going to enjoy these. Look at this guacamole. I'm just gonna put it on the side. We can dip it in it. It's gonna make these extra good. Look at that. Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. No time at all. We made a good, healthy meal. It's delicious. Oh. Come back for more. We're gonna make more good recipes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate that. And cheers.